Welcome to Damak Cavalli Estates Show Villa, the LV75, which sits on a plot of 10,900 square foot with a built up area of 17,600 square foot. It has seven bedrooms and nine bathrooms. All bathrooms are en suite and uh, something really spectacular that we've done over here. Let's go inside and have a look. As you walk in, you're welcomed by a beautiful double height ceiling foyer with a chandelier coming down. You have big marble tiles with metal, gold metal strips within it. And you have this feature for extra privacy and a separation into the formal living room. Now here we are in the formal living room. We have a beautiful chandelier coming down. You can see all the Cavalli accents on the furniture something really spectacular now these will not be included even if you opt in for the cavalli signatures it is an unfurnished property yet it is fitted so for example the fittings that you see here will be available with the golden accents with the marble and the metal metal strips within the um, on the floor now here we are in the formal living area what i particularly love is how they've gotten this formal dining area on gold metal strip surrounding which gives it which elevates let's say the uh, the formal living area which sits eight with a beautiful chandelier coming down so you'll be able to open up the interior to the exterior and walk onto the terrace with having your floor to ceiling windows opened so away from the formal dining area we also have the opportunity to um, let's say close off this area and come to the family living area and family dining room. So here we have our family dining area, which sits 12 people on a beautiful marble table. We have a very nice golden uh, chandelier. And then we have our family living room. So this is one of my favorite places usually. You know, you can sit down, enjoy, watch a movie, or, um, you know, play some, uh, some video games. So this is it right here. And you also have a view from here outside onto the garden and the pool. And you also get on the other side, a garden suite, which is a gaming room as well. So for, or, you know, a, a room that you can transform. Some people make it into a gym. Some people make it into an office. Really up to you. We'll have a look at it in just a little bit. Now going on this side and here we come to our show kitchen, which has very beautiful marble countertops. So I really love these beautifully designed uh, cabinets. We have some Smeg appliances, some Siemens appliances as well. And then on the side, we also have the chef's kitchen. And here we have the chef's kitchen, pretty spacious all around. We have marble countertops as well, and a very nice uh, wooden finishes with Siemens appliances as well. So something that is also pretty nice. So here we have double doors for our fridge and our freezer as well. So you ample space to store everything you need in order to um, accommodate all your guests. So this is the chef's kitchen and I really want to have a look at that gaming room. Let's go and have a look. So here we have the game room or we can say garden suite, which is detached from the main floor of the villa. And let's have a look. So
So here we have our gaming table where you can play board games or cards and you have the pool table. You have a little TV with an ensuite uh, washroom as well for the guests. So a washroom on each side. Now, personally, I would make it a little bit different than this, but this is what we have. This is a gaming room. Now you can change it into a gym room, into a studio, into a, a, um, an office. It's really for you to do whatever you like to do with. So on our left-hand side, we have the marble staircase leading up two floors and down one floor. We have the beautiful golden railing with the glass. On our right hand side, we have a beautifully designed wall with the wall moldings. Now these wall moldings are made of cement, so much more durable than the, the wooden wall moldings. And as we go back, we have on our left hand side, the elevator, which leads you up two floors and down one floor into the basement. And behind us, we have the office. So nowadays, there is a need for people to work from home more than ever before. So this room is made for such individuals. You have a beautiful office with the shelving as well. What's nice about this office is you don't even have to go out of your office as much. You have your own ensuite bathroom. So one of the nicest features in this house is the basement. So let's go and have a look at the spa and sauna room together. Uh, in the basement with the many uh, car parks. So here we are in the basement. So it's a very good place for big gatherings. We have what we can call a majlis or a big seating area. So you'll be able to have big gatherings in your basement. You have locker rooms on your right hand side with four washrooms and three sinks with marble, lots and lots of marble and lots and lots of uh, features, Cavalli features, golden features. You also have the mirrors with these, these beautifully designed mirrors. So from the washrooms, you'll be able to have access to the sauna and steam room. Now, mind you, these are optional. These are there and then you have to add them, but they've made it so you can have an idea of what you can do with these two extra rooms. Now the sauna and steam room are here to give you examples of what you can do with the extra given rooms, yet it is not constructed by the Mac. It is up to you to decide what you want to do with these two extra rooms. So here you have what sometimes people may call a majlis or a big gathering space for you to use for whenever you have um, events. They've added a nice touch of, let's say, a, a kind of an Arabic kind of uh, touch outside with a small hallway leading up to the staircase all the way up to the pool. So on the left-hand side, we have the gathering area. And again, marble all throughout. Now, what you'll see here before we go into the uh, garage we have on our right hand side so they've added an extra tv area where you can you know enjoy gaming or um, movies and so you also get a movie room now again this is not included and what i would suggest you do is if you decide on a on this villa get in touch with me and figure out what is included and not included in your purchase because what we show does not necessarily come in the villa included in the price. And now let's go and have a look at some of the guys favorite parts in the house, which is the garage. So here we come to the eight car park garage with light fixtures above each and every parking. We have a rotating car park over here. This is for your featured car. So let me know what is your favorite car. I would probably place here an F350 Ferrari something along those lines, what would you put? And you have these four car parks with light fixtures above each. So a really nice parking garage. So after this featured rotating car park, 
we have three car parks with light fixtures. So for many car enthusiasts, this is one of their favorite area in the villa. And now let's go and have a look at the first floor of the villa with beautiful views on the golf course together. So as we're coming here on the first floor, we have a beautiful view of the golf course and this is the main master bedroom. So here we are in the master bedroom and we have the walk-in closet, different kind of walk-in closet. As you can see, a lot of Cavalli signatures all around. You have the Cavalli signature wardrobe handles and all the designs all throughout inside the wardrobes again with the golden uh, touches now if we go in a little bit we see again the marble all around here the marble has a touch of gold as well and here you have the bathtub and again the black signature marble with a lot of golden accents double sink so this master bedroom has a view all around on the golf course, which we'll have a look right now. Here we have the master bedroom with Cavalli signatures all around on the curtains. The Cavalli features on the beddings. We have the headboard as well, which has Cavalli features with the golden touches all around. You also have a chandelier as well, which is most likely a Cavalli branded uh, chandelier. And we have the walls all throughout with the moldings and again these are uh, not wooden moldings these are actual cement moldings that will last much longer now if we go outside we'll have a look and see the beautiful trump international golf club views of the trump international golf club which is one of the biggest golf clubs in the middle east you have beautiful ponds and fountains all around with lots and lots and lots of greenery and you also get a view of your pool with the fountains as well all around so really magnificent views all around so we have a total of four bedrooms on this floor all en suite and now let's go and have a look on the second floor for the rest of the villa Now we come to the, my favorite part in all of the villa, which is this magnificent master bedroom. This is my favorite part of all the villa. Why? Because it is luxurious, yet cozy, yet very, very elegant. Have a look. We have our bath with all the golden finishes all around, very, very, meticulous and yet also very delicate something very beautiful i really love this bathroom we have a huge stand-up shower with marble all around we have a bathtub and we have our double sink with many marble features we have the beautiful mirror uh, with leatherette on the wall really something that is exquisite have a look even if you look on the uh, on the ceiling everywhere every attention to detail has been taken into consideration in this master bedroom i absolutely love it we have big marble tiles and here we have our wardrobes we have, again, the Cavalli signatures all around, big 
wardrobes, and again, Cavalli signatures all around on the curtains. Here we have Cavalli signatures with the golden uh, metal within the design. Have a look at this, the beddings as well. You have even the backboard with Cavalli designs as well. Something magnificent on the chandelier as well. Even in the ceilings, everything has been taken care of into the most meticulous detail. So from the master bedroom, you have an access to the terrace. You also have an, a second access from the main uh, hallway. And this here can be used for events, you know, gatherings up to 20 to 30 people. And you have beautiful views of the golf course. So imagine, you know, bringing in your guests and allowing them to have a view of the golf course while you're enjoying your time together. Is something that you would be able to take advantage of. So on this floor, we have a total of two bedrooms, which is the master bedroom, and here we have the kids room. So let's have a closer look. So one of the um, special rooms in this um, villa is the kids room. So again, if you have a newborn child or a young child, and it has its own ensuite uh, bathroom. So this is it for the kids room. What I particularly like is that there is an ensuite bathroom with the kids room for kids to uh, be able to use as well their own uh, bathrooms. So let me know how you found it. So this is it for the Cavalli Estates Villa LV75. Now, a lot of the features that I have mentioned in this video are not included. The furniture is not included. Even if you do get the Cavalli Estates uh, branded villa, which is at 29 million, make sure you do get in touch with me to know what comes with the property and what doesn't. How did you like this villa? Let me know in the comments below if it's something that appealed to you. And again, this is an off-plan project. This particular villa, whenever you take the Cavalli Estates uh, branded villa, it will be at 29 million. Now we have the opportunity to have the exact same layout in the uh, Damak Lagoons, which is gonna be around the 21 million and not Cavalli branded. So Cavalli branded will have let's say the extra marble, extra touches, extra Cavalli touches, which doesn't come in the regular uh, Damak Lagoon Villa. Yet you can, let's say, if I was in your shoes probably, and you don't like all these accents, you can save a lot of money and make it more customizable into your own. So you pay a million or two and customize the villa in your own preference. Now this is an off-plan project which will take around two to three years to completion. Let me know how you like this villa and uh, comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.